Melissa Lantzman's statement captures the deep trauma and horror that the Jewish community is grappling with following a brutal attack that shattered their peaceful existence in Canada. Drawing parallels to the Holocaust, Lantzman highlights the sheer scale of the atrocities, pointing out that with the backing of the Iranian regime, over 1,200 people have been savagely murdered, raped, or taken hostage. Among the victims, seven Canadians are included, many of whom still endure unimaginable conditions as captives. A year ago, the Jewish people were savagely attacked in the deadliest act of sadistic barbarism since the Holocaust. Over 1,200 souls were raped, murdered, and taken hostage by a radical death cult backed by the clerical regime in Tehran, seven Canadians among them. 101 re remain in the grips of terrorists hidden in the tunnels of hell. One year ago, the glory of living a peaceful and safe existence in this country as a Jew ended. They have placated the mob of woke radicals and the anti-Zionist Jew haters that reign free in our streets and reward terror. We used to be a country that was clear and unequivocal about eradicating anti-Semitism here and destroying terrorists without conditions everywhere. For those who remain captive, those waiting for their loved ones to come home, for those who never made it back, we remember you. And for those horrified at the state of our country, we will fight to the restore the Canada you know and love, even when they won't. But Lantzman's accusations don't stop at foreign actors responsible for this violence. She turns her criticism inward, accusing domestic forces of fostering an environment that has tolerated anti-Semitism and extremism. According to her, Canada's drift from principled stances has allowed woke radios and anti-Zionist Jew haters to flourish, creating a permissive atmosphere for hate to grow. Her sharp rhetoric expresses frustration at the failure of both the government and society to decisively condemn and tackle anti-Semitism and terrorism. She suggests that the erosion of social values and national security has been sacrificed in the name of political appeasement of radical ideologies. Lantzman's call to action is unmistakable. She urges Canada to restore its stance of zero tolerance toward anti-Semitism and terrorism to defend its Jewish citizens, and to uphold its core values. At the heart of her message is a broader appeal for the nation to protect law and order, national pride, and confront both external and internal threats with renewed determination.